Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I am Kareem Clement. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. This right here is Kareem in the morning. Okay, at this time, I'll run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. Warning, the views expressed and opinions expressed on this program is just as views and opinions. Don't take any of this serious, but I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. This right here is Kareem in the morning. Hello, how you doing? I don't really have anything uh, planned right now, but I, what I want to do with this episode is just go into uh, social media, breaking news to see what the f is going on in the country on this morning. So let's go ahead and do that. But before I do that, let me just uh, to the screen. So I want to say thank you for joining me today. Uh, Facebook, Kareem J. Clemens, Twitter, Omega Studio News, and YouTube is at Kareem Clemens. Okay, so that's my YouTube. Um, I think we just got some breaking news. Hold on, just give me some. I, it's a lot of stuff happening. I uh, just want to just uh, go here. It's the morning. Good morning. Get up. All right. Okay, so boom. I do know that we have a new variant out and it is found in another country. And apparently it seems like today they will be uh, doing the whole uh, traveling ban on these countries. Now, uh, and yeah, it's it's the uh, WHO, which is the World Health Organization, warns about the uh, the new COVID variant possesses very high global risk. Now, I really hope that they can get this under control as soon as possible because we don't really need another pandemic. We just came out of a pandemic. We don't need to go into a, another pandemic, okay? Um, it messed us all up. It killed a lot of people. And it's sick in a lot of people here in this great country. So with that being said, I really hope that the administration, the Biden and Harris administration will do everything they could possibly do to warn us on everything that they know, instead of going back to in the beginning, like in 2019, 2019 and 2020, where it was there for the coronavirus, and then nobody didn't really say anything until a lot of people was getting sick, and then, of course, succumbing to the coronavirus, and then everybody just got sick and died, okay, for those who have died. So I really hope that the Biden administration, the Biden and Harris administration does everything they can possibly do to prevent another pandemic. Now, uh, I just know that um, Dr. Fauci, okay, Dr. Fauci, 
uh, is the uh, the head doctor corresponder for the United States. And I know he was working with the previous administration, but I really hope that he can really work with the Biden Harris administration on guiding them, guiding the pharmaceuticals, guiding the uh, the uh, the uh, CDC, and guiding all of them to come together and talk about what's happening with this new variant. Now, I do know that they're saying, now what's different about this compared to the uh, the coronavirus? Now, the variant is possibly stronger, a uh, different gene, diff stronger than the, uh, the coronavirus itself and its patterns, I would think. Uh, I also wanna say that uh, people who have been vaccinated, I'm pretty sure uh, as they were saying before, could possibly be at a risk of getting infected, okay, with anything. So that's why we want to uh, definitely, definitely uh, go out and get your vaccination shot. Now, I'm not saying that you are going to, I'm not saying get the vaccination shot and then, you know, you're probably going to get it compared to someone who is not vaccinated and then they get it and then you know, their uh, chances of survival rate dropped compared to if you got it and you had got the vaccination, your survival rate will probably slowly, you know, slowly decrease compared to someone who hasn't got the vaccination. They go down because the body has not, from the vaccination, has not gotten, you know, when you get the shot, it has not, um, you know, said, hey, we're going to be here at the door waiting for you in case you decide to show up and show out. All right. So that's what I'm saying. It's important for everybody to get vaccinated because, um, you know, your chances of survival could be higher when you get vaccinated opposed, opposed to someone who has not been vaccinated. Your chances are lower for survival rate. And also, um, I noticed that they did say that um, that the kids, the kids will have the vaccination. Uh, the kids will have the vaccination as well. Uh, they set that up for them. And they also saying that the booster shot, the booster shot is available to probably majority of the adults in the United States. So if you need a booster shot, then go and get a booster shot and get it today because apparently uh, this variant is getting out of control. All right, so I wanted to talk about that. All right, now my next story, I really don't have a story. I don't really, I didn't really put anything down only because you guys are looking at this right here, okay? This right here is new to the program that I'm using, StreamYard. Now this here is a uh, presentation PowerPoint, but I only use this slide because it has my information on it. But I was really happy that the StreamYard, and I actually watched their in-town house uh, uh, meeting on last night. It was short, uh, but they covered a lot of things. And uh, I was in the last one, which was about two weeks ago, and it was talking about some new introduction and new uh, creatives coming to StreamYard. So if you don't have StreamYard and you need it, get it, okay? Uh, this is a PowerPoint presentation. So in the coming days, I'm going to test this out because I was using PowerPoint. I do have a video uh, and archives where I was using the PowerPoint, but I was using it where I had to screen uh, share it. But here you can do PowerPoint plus you can go back to your video. OK, so that's what's up. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. It is very interesting because uh, when you want to do your PowerPoint, right? The PowerPoint actually helps out because I can, you know, talk about things, then switch, go to the next one. I got you guys. Now I know y'all was talking about uh, uh, jury review. You haven't seen jury review. Jury review. The jury people are on vacation. Uh, they will be back soon. Okay. Uh, it's just that we are trying to do things to end out 2021 and create new things for 2022, okay, for the show. Not just Kareem in the morning, but also the follower following, not followers, 
following. Uh, what I see, you see. That's going to be shooting uh, another episode very soon. Uh, that is where I go out into the public and what I see, you see. What I see, you see. Okay. How how to work out that will be coming back to Instagram television. Uh, how how to work out is basically working out, doing exercise, probably morning, noon, nighttime, whenever. And it's also slash, so it's it's not one day, but it's how slash motivation. Motivation, get your ass up, okay. And that's on Instagram. Also, uh, of course, we got Drew Review, Ghetto Kitchen. Now I know uh, we uh, we uh, we got uh, we got some people who subscribe to Ghetto Kitchen. Thank you guys for your subscription uh, to uh, come aboard Ghetto Kitchen, man. I told you guys uh, y'all in the group too. For those people who are in the group, you guys can post, you guys can share, you guys can comment. You guys can actually do a video. We just had Thanksgiving that passed. And shout out to you guys. Hope you guys didn't stuff yourself. All right. But, um, you know, you can, you can do your video on there and you can show the world, you know, your, your style of cooking. Okay. So uh, that's kind of cool. And speaking of Thanksgiving, you know, Black Friday, big sales. Everybody was doing their thing, not only on Black Friday, but on Thanksgiving too, that Thursday, but the, the, the stores closed early. But do you know that today, today, Monday, is Cyber Monday, okay? Meaning that everything that you thought you couldn't get on Black Friday or on Thursday, today is the day that you can get majority of prices like 60, 70, 80, or probably 90% off. Cyber Monday, okay? Um, so you guys, you go up there, do your shopping online, and get your life right up there right now. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead to a story that was uh, brought up to um, the Omega Studio News and Talk Show T. And this is, now I, now I want to say this real quick. I myself haven't been following up on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, I do know that I can tell you that I do know that Portia is not there anymore. And I do know that Cynthia is not there anymore. But I do know that Sheree Winfield, okay, who going to check me, boo, is there. And now in social media, there is some controversial that's happening controversial that's happening right now with Sheree Whitfield. And this is this has to do with her storyline. And allegedly, everything is allegedly, or accusations, all right? So apparently the Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, Sheree Whitfield, uh, on the out with boyfriend, because you know, we seen in other episodes where she had or she was talking to someone who I don't know probably was already incarcerated or got incarcerated after this situation but apparently the boyfriend is mad the boyfriend or the person who she's dating is mad because the show the show is showing things to people or showing things to the world without his permission. That's according to what he said on social media. So let's let's get into it. Okay, so his name is Tyrone Gill Gilliams or Gilliams. All right, we just use Tyrone. Call in Tyrone. Call him. But you can't use my phone. Okay. All right. So so Tyrone uh basically is saying is not speaking on terms so Sheree and Tyrone is not speaking and apparently they're not speaking because Tyrone believes that uh that the show is 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 showing and and you know what let me just mark this I want to say this real quick when you are when you guys are watching a show 
And say for instance, uh, a season is happening to happen right now and you have episodes after episodes after episodes. So the first episode is gonna show the next episode, but it's gonna show snippets. And it's gonna show snippets of the next episode. So what happens is when you're watching that first episode, what they're gonna do is they're going to break down or edit certain things for you to come back to that next episode, okay? So I know, I, I feel her. I feel what she's doing. I, I feel what she's saying and I feel what Tyrone is saying, okay? So what's happening is, is apparently, uh, apparently they're saying that, uh, let's go down to this. Apparently they're saying that, uh, well, Tyrone is saying, let's go to Tyrone. Okay, so first of all, there was assist and assist and deceased. That's what it was. It was assist and deceased that was uh, sent to Bravo, and basically, the assist and deceased uh, is because he does not want to appear on the show. And I don't know if this because he just got out of prison or he don't want to be on the show this is probably just his obligation like this is his you know this is what he wants he don't want to be on the show so according to social media tyrone sent the system to cease letter to tv network claiming that the show's been using his name and likeness without his permission so according to social media report the real housewife of atlanta uh star Sheree Winfield, and Tyrone, who currently uh, sentenced to home confinement, have not spoken since November 6th incident. So we are maybe like maybe two weeks, two weeks, and uh, Sheree and Ty Tyrone was supposed to meet up in Philadelphia, which they had a shot with that, which it shows here, saying that... Uh, saying right here that Sheree wanted him to come film a scene with her at a restaurant, but obviously that would be a huge no-no for Tyrone because he didn't show up, okay? I'm kind of getting the deja vu. <laughs> I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of getting the deja vu. Like, I'm kind of getting that this storyline was probably like there before. I'm not really sure. Like, I, I, I feel like I heard this before. I feel like, because I, I, when Sheree was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, I seen an episode. I know I did, bitch. Don't make me go back and search the archives. I know I seen an episode where uh, her, her and Tyrone was together. And I think they were out in public. Now, this here is where she's out in public again. She's dressed in fur, black comfy boots and uh, a furry uh black you know jacket what it looks like a martini at a table and hair done glasses sunglasses brown everything is brown and she's sitting there the table and chairs is brown too bitch even the 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 uh the window to the building is brown okay so everything is matching for her okay excellent however tyrone does not show up he does not show up and is saying that uh, he passed on a shooting and production and that the attorney simply added that the show to make it look like Tyrone stood her up. Now, I would believe the show would do something like that. Why? Because I just said it a few minutes ago. I just said it a few minutes ago that the show would do everything and anything to pretty much make me and you come back to see the show again. So they would throw stuff in there. It would be parts. Now, now, mind you, a part could have happened maybe an hour in the show, and they would put that in the beginning of the show of the of the of the commercial, and you know, something that happened in the beginning. Is at the end, so it's, it's flipped. 
So I can understand where they're coming from. I can understand the fact that I believe the show, and it's not just Bravo. This is any show, and including online. Uh, uh, when I say online, I'm talking like uh, Chasing Atlanta or uh, The Real Gay Wives of Houston. Uh, other shows, and what they do is they 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 can they edit because you got to edit the show. And you want them to come back. So they would probably put something that happened at the end and the beginning to make it look like that had happened like right then and there when we probably don't even see that shit until four or five episodes. So I can understand. All right. However, Tyrone should have known that uh, you know, you're dealing, you're dealing with Sheree Winfield. You're dealing with someone who has cameras on them all the time because they're filming they're already in archives sheree has been there from the beginning she's an original housewife uh she's a writer she wrote a book she's a fashion designer she is an entrepreneur and she's also a philanthropist Sheree Winfield, you should already know, Tyrone, about the spotlight. We already know the beautiful chateau, okay? The beautiful chateau. Everybody thought that she couldn't afford it, but apparently she's still in it with her kids, okay? Doing her thing. Uh, so, Tyrone, you should already know that there is some ups and downs when it comes to her and, you know, taping and doing what they can do doing what they can do so my thing is this why even why even get mad why even get mad but i can understand because he just got out of jail he's on home confinement i would say house arrest and i think that something i don't know to put two and two together if he's on home confinement and he's supposed to meet her at the uh, the the um, the shop for coffee or tea or drink, and he's supposed to be on house arrest, and he didn't come. So to get more views and get her storyline to jump up, they're gonna say, "Oh, he didn't show up," and then his probation or the judge or someone in the case is looking like, "Wait a minute, bitch." How the fuck is he supposed to be showing up here? He's supposed to be home on a on a house arrest. So I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, the things that people do for money, bitch. The things that people do for money. of ankle monitor i seen that cardi b cardi b had an ankle monitor on her leg and i don't know if this had to do with the whole uh the whole std test thing i don't know sometimes we don't really know what the situation is until we hear it from the horse's mouth but according to social media, I did see her with the ankle monitor on because she was in her home. She actually posted it. So she had an ankle monitor on. I don't know what that's for, but apparently uh, somebody, somebody is tracking her. All right. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, again, this ain't going to be a, a long one. I do want to say uh, uh, shout out to Religious Wing TV. Shout out to Daquan Jones. Shout out to Al Nicholson. Shout out to Princess Diamond. Shout out to my boy Carlton Boyd and his mom, Mary, and his brother, Anthony. Shout out to Naylove. Now, Naylove, where are you? 
okay missing your videos everything okay one um shout out to her send her uh some wishes i do know that she uh do the gardening and do gardening tips and she do the cooking and she give us her uh video on her homes but i have not seen nayla where the hell is nayla because i want to be on her show and, and it's like i can't because she has not been live so send her wishes holiday wishes to me love okay and of course to you my followers and you my friend okay thank you guys so much for apparently uh showing up and showing out let me just run at the bottom so cash app chicken thug email kareen clemens at aol.com instagram black college do and twitter omega studio news and if you would like to show your support and donate to the cause, the Cash App is Chicken Thug. Thank you all for your support. Now, let me just update you guys a little bit on the Omega Studio news real quick before I go. Uh, you guys can go up on the blog page. Now, I want to do apologize that the blog page has, uh, is, is, it changed. The blog page changed. When I say changed, I'm talking about the layout change. And the layout was not what it was. In the beginning, when I first started the, the blog page, different things change. Now, the, 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 uh, the, the method that they have now, it is totally different. So it may look kind of like, it, it, it kind of looks like more blogging than, uh, than it was before, if that makes sense. Okay, it just gives me, um, got a, I can use like uh, Facebook to write a paragraph or a post and then post it up there. And, you know, compared to the website or the blog page, it kind of like mm, takes a lot of oomph out of it, like a lot of stuff out of it. So what I want to say is, is that if you go up on a blog page and it kind of looks different and it doesn't look like how it was before, that's because it is uh, changing around. And also we're working with the methods of what they have so we can make it better for you. Okay. So again, thank you guys so much for joining me right here for Kareem in the morning. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.